Hello there, my good friends, and welcome to the first episode of what is hopefully many LEGO Star Wars reviews on this channel. Today, to begin this series, we're looking at 75342 Republic Fighter Tank, released in 2022. The set comes with six minifigures, being Mace Windu, the 187th command, 187th commander, and two 187th troopers, and two battle droids. Now, I was excited for this set when it came out, especially for the minifigures, as Mace Windu here has arm printing, quite rare in a standard issue set like this. This replicates his arms in the Star Wars The Clone Wars animated series, and these three troopers here were originally released in 2006 by Hasbro as a part of the Star Wars Expanded Universe. It is amazing to see these guys pretty much be canon now. Like, their Wikipedia image of the commander and is actually this guy right here. Admittedly, in Star Wars The Clone Wars, their appearance was actually more of a brownish color, which makes me kind of wonder. You know, it's purple this time, then oh, never mind. But anyways, I was quite cautious about the set, aside from the minifigures, and it was actually quite the fun build. I got this back in April and decided right now to review it in August because why not? And so let's take a look at the set for the first part. All right, so the set's main play feature, if you will, as with many Star Wars sets, is the spring-loaded shoes introduced in 2014 where you Yep, that happens. I was a bit upset about these when I was a younger child in 2014 due to the fact that they replaced my beloved spring-loaded shooters. But I've really grown to appreciate these as they are much more accurate to what we see in the movies, obviously. Unlike the stud shooters. Now, the stickers are pretty good. I've got to say, it looks great. They look nice and accurate, and I didn't have as big of a problem with applying them. As I've really begun to learn the art of Lego stickering. Oh, dang it. Well, the back here opens up so you can place a minifigure inside, and also the top opens up. But a big thing that people were complaining about was this. The use of what is currently the X-Wing cockpit piece as the door, which I myself was afraid of because it did not look accurate. However, I've really grown to appreciate this set because, well, it's pretty freaking cool. The minifigs are awesome. And overall, this build is, I'll give it a eight out of 10. Not to be rude, but just eight out of 10 seems like a nice number. Now, for those eagle-eyed viewers or people just for the eyes in general, you may have all been wondering, what the heck are these two tanks doing in the background? That's right, this is a comparison video! All right, to get this clear, we're going to first look at what the Sabre tank was based off in terms of design and how well each of this has done it. Now, as a little bit of trivia, this tank was originally debuted in the 2002 video game Star Wars The Clone Wars, which I own as seen here. Now, the first level of the game takes place in what was currently the only battle of Geonosis, and has the Jedi actually pilot the tank. I do admittedly wonder why clones are seen as piloting the tank now, but I don't really mind it that much. The first level actually has Mace Windu and Luminara unduly piloting their own tanks as both, they're both player one and player two respectively, I believe. It's been a little while since I played this game, so forgive me for my rusty knowledge. So, right now, let's let the comparison begin. Now, over here, we have my very first exposure to the set and the vehicle in general. 
a toy from 2011 that I got for Christmas from my grandaunt and granduncle. And it was from Star Wars The Clone Wars. As Lego's actual first dabble at this set was in 2008 or 2009 with their Republic fighter tank set, which was quite famously oversized, leaving many to, be to really think that this set here was undersized and quite small. Now, the reason that Lego made this set and that this toy was made was because it was originally slated to appear in Star Wars The Clone Wars, the animated series, not the game. But it was cut from the show for unknown reasons as of now. And that is why this tank is currently classified as Star Wars Legends. Though it has appeared in the Battlefront games, which I am quite happy about. Now this will be the standard that I'll compare both sets to currently in an attempt to see which one is better, basically. All right, so I'm gonna take a nice long look at this, pause the video if you will, and these two sets. We're gonna start with the 2017 set, which was deemed much more accurate by fans. Now, let's see. We have four windows here, only two here. And admittedly, the detailing is not as prominent on here as it is with here with stickers, but I'll say this is accurate. But this, yeah, they tried to do it with these here. I'm missing the piece here, unfortunately. So I'll take that down a point pretty much. It's a note, like a window. So this will be currently 8 out of 10 in terms of accuracy. Now, I'm assuming... No, no, yeah. The antennae are present in its video game version. However, if they are not present on this toy, they were maybe not going to appear. I'm not sure. So, I'll have this be an 8 out of 10 for now. Let's leave it at that. But this set, you see, I actually like this set better because, well, look at this. It's like, yeah, it's almost exactly the same. I love what they took advantage of with the stickers here. I really, I do like this design better with 2017's count version of it, but here, yeah, it really feels like they knew how to use, they use stickers more efficiently. Like, I love the detailing here. Like, look at this. It's like kind of perfect, honestly. I love this. Yeah, they, you can see they tried it with these here. This is better. And while the size is more accurate for 2017, 2023, I kind of like it better, honestly, because of this. I am more fond of this set, though this set now takes the number one spot in terms of the two Republic fighter tanks. It's not like there's much competition. So, yeah, this is my very first Lego Star Wars review. I really hope you enjoyed, and I hope I can see you guys next time.